What's up, YouTube? It's Fatal the Collector coming to you with another video. And in this video, I will be doing a review of this guy right here. This 1 1 scale. Hey, take off that Batman hat. Black Panther bust by Queen Studios. Now, this bust was created for the Infinity War movie um, in the MCU. And the role was played by no other than Chadwick Boseman. And on this special day, Chadwick Boseman's 45th birthday, I decided it would be a good idea to go ahead and do a quick review of this beautiful bus. Now, I pre-ordered this a long time ago, over two years ago. So to be exact, it was over two years ago. August 21st, 2019, and um, made some monthly payments on it. And the price was a shocking, shockingly cheap $799. And if my memory serves me right, I only paid $150 for shipping. Boy, how times have changed after COVID. Lord have mercy. And I purchased it from Spec Fiction Shop. It's one of my favorite um, online stores for statues and busts. Todd Johnson is uh, above reproach when it comes to resale. You can communicate with him through uh, email, Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, and there's even a phone on his website that I also was able to contact him before and have a conversation via telephone. The guy is accessible and he has a great business over there at Spec Fiction Shop. I highly recommend shopping with him. Now I was able to get this um, limited piece. Uh, this piece comes with a certificate of authenticity, signed, sealed, and it uh, lets you know that this is an official licensed Marvel product. Now there were only 600 of these made worldwide and I got number 545. For that I'm grateful. And I'm grateful because of a couple of things. One, good addition size in my opinion. Now it would be even better if it were 300 then there would be more value. But I think this will hold this value well because of the untimely passing of this, this actor and I'll never sell it. So I'm not in this to try to make a buck. Some of the resellers and scalpers on eBay will try to sell this thing for astronomical amounts, and I think it's cruel. But it is what it is, to each his own. But I think it's special because the Black Panther in it itself, what it meant to the black community, was huge. Now, the character Black Panther was created in 1966, and ironically, it was the, that was the same year that the Black Panther Party movement was also created. They had nothing to do with each other, it was just coincidental that both were created in the same year. Now, history lesson, this guy was created first. Yes, Black Panther was created before the Black Panther Party movement. Some people don't believe that. When that character was first created, he had an open cow. And when the publishing companies would put it out, they would mark it with a black marker because they were afraid to have a black superhero in a comic book and how people would receive it. And then it actually stuck. And that's how we got the iconic look of the Black Panther. You know, actually he used to look like a black version of Batman if you ask me. And you know what it is for me. Batman is my favorite in DC. And Marvel is Black Panther. R.I.P. Chad B. And today on this momentous occasion, his birthday, I have this hat on, and it just highlights some of his career highs. Playing of Jackie Robinson, uh, James Brown, Thurgood Marshall, and of course, King T'Challa of Wakanda. And it was a proud moment. It was February 2018 when that movie hit the theaters, and it made a lot of money. And it gave black people a good feeling. I can't even lie. I'm half Latino, half black, and um, it was a good feeling to see, you know, the black community coming out and taking pride 
in this character. And you know what? Even the white community came out in great support. And, and it, was, it was a great moment because I saw this movie in theaters probably three or four times. And, it, and for me, it was the top three for MCU movies. I would say that uh, Infinity War was number one, Black Panther number two for me, and Civil War was number three. So those are my favorite three movies in the MCU. Uh, Endgame didn't quite uh, reach the level of Infinity War for me, but it would be number four. Uh, but this Black Panther movie was great. Now, Black Panther 2 is coming up. And a lot of people uh, giving their feedback and their disdain and some in support of them not reprising the role. Marvel not reprising the role. But me, I'm in agreement with it. Now, should we ever see another Black Panther on screen? Absolutely, we should. But in this iteration of the MCU, I believe he shouldn't. Now, if there's a multiverse thing, yeah, we can see him somewhere else. I mean, just look at it. We got the 1966 Adam West Batman. We got the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman. Fast forward to the two, early 2000s, we got Christian Bale. Then we got who they didn't want, Ben Affleck, who in my opinion, in costume, is the best bat looking Batman in costume that I've ever seen because it reminds me of the Frank Miller uh, Dark Knight version. He was big, he was bulky. And I really wanted to see him get his own movie. And now you got Robert Pattinson. But here's the thing. Those are all different arenas. You know, it's all DC, but it's not the same story. You know, so yes, they can bring Black Panther back at a later time in a different universe. And, you know, with the multiverse, anything is possible. But I agree with Marvel on not bringing or reprising the role. Uh, but let's talk more about this bus. So this is a one one scale bus. And when you look at it at first, I thought, was it underscaled? But look, I'm five foot eight and I got a normal head size, I would think. And here we go, check it out. What do you think? Now, this is without the arms and so you don't have the full shoulder width, but I think that it is it was accurately scaled as a one-one scale bus, in my opinion. And this thing is, is this this bus was done beautifully. It's got a lot of texture in it. It's got a lot of intricacies, from the helmet all the way down to the chest. And and um, they even sculpted some good back muscle here. Now it's not uh, sculpted all the way down, but I think this is pretty cool. You get some nice shoulder area. You get some nice back muscles. And I think they did a really good job. And the, it came in about, you got four pieces. One piece is this flashlight. And I'll show you what that does later. Then you have the nameplate. Mr. X doesn't really like nameplates, but I think this, this is cool looking. You know, you can do without it, but I'll keep it on there. And it's got a magnet. It's a decent magnet. And then the base and um, goes on top, the bus goes on top of the base, and it's like a big key. So even if I pull it up now, it's not coming off, but you do not want to carry it around like that because you can lose your base to the floor. And guess what? I've done that before with a, with a um, bus, and luckily for me, it broke in such a way that when I glued it, you couldn't even tell. So, But you got to be careful when you move these things around, guys. So... Now I'm gonna show you the feature. Now, with all the lighting I got on, you really can't see that. So let me do something real quick. So you got the Wakanda lettering here on the outside of the, the chest on both sides. It's really, really nice. When you get the lights out and here's the helmet Oh, that's really nice. Check that out, guys. That's real dope. Yeah, you see that vibranium flowing through the suit? And they didn't even have to do this. So, kudos to Queen Studios for going the extra mile. I mean, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at that. 
I mean, come on, y'all. That is so dynamic. This throws it way over the top here for me. I mean, you would have never thought you would have got something like this with a bus. But Queen Studios outdid themselves. Absolutely. But the lettering, I mean, that is official Wakanda scribe, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that is beautifully done. Beautifully done. Hey, what do you think, guys? Uh, I think that effect of the light, man, that is dope. That is so dope. Now, I've had this for about a year and a half, I think, and I've enjoyed it. And when people come over my house, this is one of the pieces that they always are drawn to. I think it's accurately scaled. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I absolutely give this a 10. I think the value is where it needs to be, especially with the prices going up on these busts. And it's beautifully done, and it pays great homage to Chadwick Boseman. One of the great actors of our time who was really um, taken way too soon from us. But, you know, I'm a Christian, so I have faith that the afterlife is eternal life with the Lord. So, um, although we're sad because we don't have him here, there's a bit of selfishness that comes with that. And we have to, um, we have to let go, you know, and let God handle everything. And we have to um, appreciate his craft and I mean Chadwick Boseman and the legacy that he left behind. Uh, he was a great actor. And truly, Black Panther is my favorite MCU character. And Chadwick Boseman knocked it out of the park. It, it was a great role that he played in that movie, man. And um, we're going to miss him. Every movie that he showed up in for the MCU was outstanding. And not to mention all the other movies, playing the James Brown, playing the Thurgood Marshall, playing the Jackie Robinson. I mean, he knocked it out of the park. This man was a great actor. And just like Denzel Washington, he made a great impact in the film industry. And Black Panther was one of the top three movies for me. I reiterate that, that, uh, you know, I have that number two. I have Infinity War number one and Civil War number three, followed by Endgame. But the Black Panther movie was a, a proud moment for the black community. And it was, a, it was a great moment for the comic book community because they knocked that movie out of the park, y'all. Now, I'm hoping that Black Panther 2 lives up. Who's going to come back as Black Panther? Who's going to fill the shoes? We're not reapprising the role, but who's going to take the mantle? Man, you know, it's my wish to see uh, them do the comic book route and put Shuri at the throne. But you could throw a twist in there that... Uh, Killmonger really die we can bring him back and maybe he have a change of heart because this stuff can be rewritten now so we'll see what happens uh, that movie comes out in 2023 and I'm excited you know I wish it would have been a little sooner but hey sometime we gotta wait for great things um, happy birthday child with Bozeman you gave us your all on the big screen and we appreciate you you persevered even after your diagnosis. You kept pushing through and you kept giving us great artistry on the big screen. And we can't thank you enough. The movie Black Panther was one of my favorite movies of all time. It's definitely in my top 10. It's a movie that I can watch over and over with my kids. And um, words can't describe what you meant to the film industry and to the comic book industry. Wakanda forever. In my culture, there is no end.